James here with Line of Sight. We're at Healy Ammunition uh, at SHOP Show 2018. I'm here with Jamie. Uh, pleasure to meet you. Yes, thank you for coming by. So what, what do you do with you and tell us a little bit about your involvement with the company? Yeah, I'm the sales and marketing uh, manager for Ely United States and Canada. Uh, so I do the sales and marketing within the US and Canada uh, for Ely Ammunition. Uh, we are known for our competition style ammo, uh, however we do have some recreational rounds available now as well, uh, so we're available to anyone who needs 22 ammunition. What's your background as a competitive shooter? Yeah, I was a 2008 and 2012 Olympian, uh, so I won the gold in women's three position rifle in 2012 at the London Games. Wow, yes. wow. So I know Ely very well. I, I've won with Ely, so it's, it's a product I back, obviously. So tell me, when it comes to the world of 22s, there's a lot of, uh, what, what's a good word for it? Uh, they can be finicky and choosing the right ammunition um, to fit your rifle. So what are some things to look for when choosing Ely ammunition to fit your rifle? Yeah, it, it is, 22 is a very finicky round. It's a great word for it. Uh, you know, the, the lot number is going to be different per barrel. You know, what, what shoots well out of your gun isn't necessarily what's going to shoot well out of my gun. Uh, so it is about testing and, and knowing what shoots well uh, and playing with it, you know, shooting lots of different, uh, not just not just lot numbers, but the, the different grades as well, you know. So, uh, 10X, Ely 10X is going to be our most accurate round, uh, and then Ely Match will follow. Uh, and so, the big difference is you won't have to shoot as many uh, rounds of 10X to find what shoots well. Uh, you won't have to shoot as many different lots. Uh, whereas, you know, 10X you might have to shoot 10 different lots to find a lot that shoots really well. Whereas, Match you might have to shoot 20 lots to find that one lot that shoots really well. Uh, so, you know, but it is it is so so different depending on the, the barrel and ammo combination. So, what can you tell me as far as what's the difference between a box of Ely Match and Ely 10X in the construction? What, what, what makes this shoot so much better on average? Yeah, so throughout the whole manufacturing process, uh, if anything doesn't meet the specifications of Ely 10X, uh, it gets put into a matchbox. So no matter from beginning to end, so that could happen at the very the case trimming process, all the way through to the testing in our proof barrel process. Uh, so anywhere in there that that it doesn't meet our 10x specifications, it'll go into down into a match as long as it meets our match specifications, which is going to happen 99.9 percent .9 of the time. It's going to be one of the two. So all ammo starts off with the intention to become 10x at some point. Yes. It just through the process, through testing, through however it comes through the machines, just gets filtered down into whatever grade. The stuff that makes the final cut ends up in the 10x box, and then from there it gets prioritized down. Yeah, from 10x and match. Yep. And then Edge is the next product down that's actually a, a different bullet construction. So uh, match and 10x have what we call our white bullet. Uh, and so that's a different alloy than what our black bullet, which is our edge and everything else, is a black bullet, and it's just a different alloy. Um, the white, the white bullet is a more accurate, more, more expensive alloy than what the black bullet is. Okay. What, what about different waxes? I know there's different different waxes you guys use too. Yeah. So in all of the 10x match edge. Um, Club and Target all have the beeswax okay. wax, which is a little thicker wax, uh, and then anything in the white box uh, has uh, what's called a paraffin wax. It's more viscous, so that's going to cycle through your semi-auto a lot better. Uh, it's not going to gum up that am that gun as much, um, and and so it just it feeds better. So the paraffin wax is more for your semi-autos, um, whereas the beeswax. Is there an accuracy benefit to the beeswax? Yeah, it is. It is a little more accurate. Um, it's it's just everything that goes into a 22. You know, there's so many different variables. Uh, you know, we measure hundreds of things in a 22. Uh, most of them you can't see, you can't measure on your own. You know, it's inside the, the actual round. Uh, and so all of that, everything we can possibly do to make that a more accurate round, we're trying to figure out. So tell me a little bit about your testing process. Um, if somebody was interested in having their rifle tested for a certain lot or a certain type of ammunition, what would be the 
process of them sending in their, their right from, from sending it in to getting a lot that is recommended? Yes, so we have a test facility in Winters, Texas, and uh, you can ship your gun to Winters, Texas, or you can actually bring bring it with you if you want to take a trip to lovely Winters. We test 10X and Edge at that facility. We're going to test it, uh, 18 to 22 different lots of 10X. And we're going to take uh, the first, we're going to shoot 10 shots in each, out of each one of those lots. And then from there, we look at the groups and we choose those, the lots that are shooting the best. It could be 10 lots, it could be 20 lots, whatever whatever it is your gun shoots the best. And then we're gonna test 30 more shots out of those lots. Okay. Uh, and so in the final test, you'll see a 40 shot group. Uh, we, don't, we don't do 10 shot groups. Uh, we don't believe in 10 shot groups. It's not enough information. Uh, and so this, the statistics behind it isn't, doesn't give you enough information. So we, uh, the 40 shots is not an overlay. It's actually shot through the center same center so so we're getting a score actually we're not just getting a group size we uh, are getting a, a score that um, we actually think is more accurate so it's when you do a group you you only ever measure those outside shots which is normally three shots right so right. you think of the groups of ammo that you you see it's the outermost three shots you're putting an overlay over and going oh that's a 15 millimeter group or whatever it is um, and so we're not doing that we we are giving you a score that's actually uh, measuring every single shot shot in that test okay so a big part of like precision shooting or long range 22 shooting is going to come down to your extreme spread your standard deviation when you guys are selecting a lot for an ammunition how much does that affect your choice um, and are you guys mostly just looking for accuracy or are you looking for tightest spread as well yep we're looking for accuracy most of the time um, but along with that accuracy and, and because 10x is such a controlled product you know, we are literally testing hundreds of different things in that round uh, you're gonna see a very low standard deviation yeah. on that on that spread in, in the process. It, it kind of automatically comes with the product absolutely Just based on the standards that it's built to you're gonna get the tight extreme spread in a box of 10x automatically yep exactly so where do, you, where do you see the future of 22 shooting going um, as, as the industry changes, uh, different rifles coming to market? Do you guys see a shift in where your target audience is going? I think it's exciting to see where all these new events of 22 coming available. Uh, you know, we're, we're always known on that really higher end uh, precision style shooting like Olympic style shooting. Right. Uh, but stuff like the NRL 22, uh, the longer range shooting, uh, is is exciting to us because it's it's just growing. 22 shooting is growing. You know, I think a lot of center fire guys and gals are starting to shoot some more 22, maybe using it for some practice uh, for their center fire, and and that's exciting to us because we know our ammo shoots great at at those distances. So uh, that is that is definitely an exciting turn for the 22 market in general. Yeah, we're seeing a big shift on uh, a lot of a lot of big game manufacturers coming out with new 22 rifles this year. Um, a lot of new different types of disciplines popping up all over the country, and I, I guess it's a good time to be at the forefront of the 22 ammunition industry. If somebody's interested in an EV product, what would you say uh, is the recommended method of testing their own rifle? How would, how would you go about that? Yeah, I would... Uh, you know, if you're looking for the, the 10X of the Edge product, I honestly would suggest our test facility or looking us up on our website, reallyammunition.com, to find where we're going to have our mobile test rig. Uh, we do take a mobile rig around the country um, that we can actually test your rifle on the road uh, so we can come to you. And uh, so I, I would encourage that if that's the product you're looking for. If it's other products, then you know it, you can find more information on our products page uh, on the website, it, as well as we have what's called the Ely Lot Analyzer uh, that is on our website as well, that you can go and type in a lot number, whether it's on the shelf or a lot number you currently have, and it'll show you um, statistics from our factory. That's a good tool to have for somebody that's out there and they find a box of ammo on it on their local gun store shelf. They say, yeah, I wonder how this is going to shoot with my rifle. They just go on the website. They 
got testing results right there. Yep. Jamie, thank you for sitting down and talking to me. I hope that anybody that's interested in getting into the growing sport of Precision 22 shooting gives Ely a good look. Uh, where, where can they find your products at? Yeah, you can go onto our website, uh, elyammunition.com, and we have a dealer locator that uh, you can enter your zip code or your city and state, and it'll show you where you can purchase Ely. Great. Thank you so much for talking to us. Yes. Thank you for stopping by.